Hi, welcome to another video. I thought you guys might enjoy seeing a little bit of my creative process. I'm working right now on a journal for my partner over at Your Paper Pantry for the Junk It, Smash It, Throw It on the Floor. This month the theme is Time Capsule and the challenge is that you can use a chipboard cover but that you have to incorporate canvas. So I got part of the way through this process and I thought, well, you know, maybe it would be a good idea to show people a little bit of how I come up with things. So what I have already done is I took a piece of canvas and this is this is the kind of canvas that I used right here and it's just canvas that I bought from Michaels and I cut out a piece of that canvas and I frayed the edges a little bit here and after I frayed the edges, I took some um, acrylic bronze paint and I put it in this little misting bottle. And I added about half bronze paint, half water, and then just a squirt of some glue. Just You could use any kind of glue, even Elmer's glue. And then... What I did is I put my Tim Holtz um, clock mask um, over the middle of that canvas and then I sprayed it down really good with this mixture I made. And then I used my heat gun to dry it. And then after I used my heat gun to dry it, I used some Fabri-Tac. Fabri-Tac and I after I used the Fabri-Tac I took some lace and I attached it three different types of lace to the bottom and then I thought these clothes pins would be a nice addition because the theme is going to be the time capsule you know um things to remember about and I'll show you the whole finished project when I finish at any rate I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put um, the spare parts little clock that I've got there and then I've chosen my title as nostalgia so I'm gonna go ahead and lay my letters out And what I did to figure out what letters I might use is I measured the amount of space that I had. And then after I measured the amount of space I had, I started looking, I wanted something clear. And so I started looking for clear letters that I had that could spell the word of my title and you know fit on my piece of canvas and I wanted something clear because I know I'm gonna N-O-S-T-A-L-G-I-A I know that I'm going to cover some of this clock on the canvas but I want to leave some of it show okay so I know that I'm gonna want to center these more so, I'm going to move all of them over just a hair. And I think that's going to be about right once I get gluing that down. And I'm, I'm going to dirty these up just a little bit with my Tim Holtz. You're going to hear some background noise. My daughter's running around and her phone's going off. I'm just going to dirty these leaves up just a little bit with my Tim Holtz Distress Ink. This is vintage photo that I'm using on this. And I might even just kind of, just even just hit it a little. Okay, and that looks good to me. 
typically this is what I do is I'll lay it out first what I think and I think I want my leaves on here uh, let's see that looks good to me and then after I lay it out and I get it how I want it then I will go in and start gluing it down and I'm probably not going to be able to get these roses to stand up how I want them to look in the finished product but it'll give me an idea of if it's going to look right and my big hands are all in the way and I apologize I'm trying to make this where you guys can kind of see what where I'm going with this and we'll do this Tim Holtz adage ticket right in here somewhere and that looks about good to me so that's going to be my my front cover and I hope you guys have enjoyed watching a little bit of my creative process and after I get this glued down and I get the rest of my book made I'll make a video of that and share it with you guys okay well if you have any questions please let me know and thank you guys so much for watching bye now